Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I am doing a art doll. Now I'm starting this off. It's going to be a prototype, but I'm really thrilled with the way it came out. And so I want to kind of, you know, walk you through what I did. Um, right now I'm using collage clay and I'm showing you the different tips that it has. And this is just your normal cheap foam brush. Um, most of us have these just laying around. You can get them at your craft store, like 10 for a dollar. You can get them at your local, uh, how you say a dollar store so you know old big old paintbrush which i have another project with a big old paintbrush but uh so all i'm doing is uh taking the collage clay and putting it all over it as if it's a uh molding paste so uh i started off wanting to do something one way and by the time i was done i did it a whole, it came out completely different than i even expected so um, I was going to use the uh, <clears throat> collage clay in a certain way, and then I just I was just going with the flow, and it ended up being something completely different. So that's it. I'm using my fingers. This stuff is fantastic. All oh, the stuff I want to do with this. Um, it, it just makes you know. I've I have a video of me using it in my molds uh, in the um, Mod Podge molds, and I'll link down below so you guys can see it um but this stuff is fantastic and it dries so light and um and i'm putting some of that down on the uh handle it's wooden handle you know some come with plastic whatever and i'm just leaving it to dry it's a little bit of texture and honestly at the end i didn't need it because i was doing i ended up doing something else so now it's dry as you can see and i'm going um I have my mold and I have a mold face, uh, a face mold that I did. <laughs> I can't think of how to say that. A mold of a face. Oh yeah. Yeah. Kelly. Okay. <laughs> and I have some, um, purple. It's a purple, uh, mod melt in my mod melter, which I'm in love with this. And I'm putting a red one in there now. And I just give it a little push and it kind of just pushes out the rest of the purple. And I'm only making uh, the flowers now. I'm using the flower mold. As you're going to see, uh, towards the end, I quit showing you what I was doing as far as making all the flower molds. I think you'll get the gist of it. But now I'm just doing, just doing purple and um, red will be coming through soon. So I'm just going to let that harden up. I... I don't know. Don't ask me if it works. I just put it down and pop it for some bubbles as if it's a baking. I'm baking a cake. I don't know. Um, but and now, I mean, literally five minutes, seven minutes. It's completely cool. And um, you take them right out. And then I'm on. I'm showing you what they look like. And then I will be on my next color, which is red. And that comes in the um, opaque colors. You get, what are you getting there? You get purple and blue and green and red. And that's what I'm using right there. The purple and the red. Yep, from the uh, opaque colors. I am in love with Mod Melt. I am in love with them so very much that I have so many projects in my head. Because <laughs> I just love them. You do it, you put them in the molds. And um, literally in five minutes, you have these delicious things. So... Like I said, right now I'm concentrating on the flower mold. Um, and that's only because of the project I'm about to do. Now I'm putting in the blue. And I give it a little push. Um, and, you know, it helps push through the rest of the red. And um, again, here I go and pretend like I'm baking a cake. What the heck, Cal? I got some height on that one. But yeah, so the same thing you're going to see a couple times just doing... A lot of you have been asking me about um, how they work, the mod mounts, this and that, how fast. Um, I have a video for that as well, but I'm showing you here again, and that's all I'm doing. And I love putting, you know, I'll show you coming up in a second here what I do if I have extra color left in um, my mod melter. Now... I have my blue and they're ready to go through, but there's still red left in there. Now, technically, I, after the fact, I should have had other molds here and just started making a bunch of molds, um, you know, with the rest of the colors. But what I did, and look, those are hard, and, I'm, and you can see some of the blue came through on the back, but you can't see it. 
uh, on the front of it. It doesn't matter. And look how gorgeous they come out. Yep, gorgeous. I don't think, yeah. So here I go with the blue. Now, if you look up in the corner, you'll see like a white flower in a gold, it's like glitter gold um, mod melt. And I'll show you that better towards the end. Um, but what I did, because I came, you know, when I was doing it, I thought, oh, this would be fun. So I'll show you. It'll be coming up soon. And now I'm just putting the, using the blue. And I'm just giving the pink. Now that is a, uh, that is the fluorescent pink going in there now. And you can see I put, I put some of the blue on my nonstick mat. And then I took one of the, um, one of the collage clay flowers that I had made and I stuck it in the middle. And just going to let it cool. And that's what I did with the gold glitter up on the top as well. And now I'm just going in. Now let me tell you guys something. I have fibro and I have RA very badly. Um, and I've, I use this all day, uh, and no fatigue in my hands, no problem. Um, the way I hold it is the way that works best for me. Um, that's why using the regular glue gun, although you can use a regular glue gun, you need high temp. Um, it hurts my hands when I go to, uh, when I pump out the, the mod belt, right? This, for whatever reason, works good for me. Um, so it is a matter of preference and what you dig, you know what I'm saying? But I love the mod melter. And now I'm using the fluorescent um, pink, as you can see. And I'm doing another little, I'm just going around. Look at me go. Lean a little bigger there, Cal. Going around and sticking it in. That's what she said. And I'm just making these cool little things. And look, look how beautiful they come out. See what I mean when I tell you, look what I was doing. I'm showing you it all. Oh, I am so in love. I, I Oh my God, this, uh, all I do is think about things to do. Now I have the fluorescent yellow and that's going in. And you can see up above there, all the flowers I have already. I'm having a blast. Let me just tell you. Having a blast. And I did double the time on this, like speeding through double time rather than full, only because of the wait time. Um, I do, you know, obviously turn my camera off um, and let it cool for a few minutes. But, um, you know, now some of the green's coming through and I'm doing the leaves. Now I have enough flowers, so I'm taking out my yellows. And just putting it with the pile. Now, this is where I decide, um, once I'm done with the leaves, where I decide that I'm going somewhere else with my project, you know, and then I take these out and then I continue making um, some leaves. Now, let me tell you guys something. Um, lately, I've been getting a lot of questions. I've, um, I have a lot of new, um, uh, new subs, and I'm so thrilled, they're so thrilled. Um, some of you, uh, as well as many of you who have been with me for a very, very long time, you know, are disabled. And I know a lot of times when I use new um, items, craft items, pens, pencils, you know, the mod melter, the cloth plate, like all this stuff, you guys write me concerned that it's that it might be an issue for you. Um, I will never, I will never sit here and tell you, oh, no, this is fantastic if it hurts. I won't use it because I make YouTube videos and I make art YouTube videos as well. Oh, wait, wait, let me tell you, let me tell you, look at all these little things that the little drips I'm showing you in the pile. I'm going to try to show you up close here. I got all these extra little drips that come off that make these little beads. These are, oh my goodness, look at those. Perfection. Oh my goodness. Okay. And I'm showing you all the things that I, I made there in the pile, but I will never tell you something, um, unless I, I believe in it. Um, it doesn't mean that if it works for me, it won't work for you. Or if it works for you, it won't work for me. Do you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you do what you're comfortable with. Now I'm just showing you. Look how those little flowers, I can cut them off individually. Oh, just my life. My life, this was just so much fun. So much fun. And I'm not even near being done. 
So here's my um, paint, my foam brush, and there's my little face. And I'm like, here's where my mind starts turning and switching differently. And, uh, you know, the wind blows the wrong way. And my mom, I'm, I'm like, oh, what's that? And then I go on to something else. So I'm going to take, I was thinking, and this is a different doll I'm going to make. I wanted to do um, a Day of the Dead doll a face, right? Um, with like little flowers and all that kind of stuff, but I ended up not doing it and I will do it down the road um, in another video coming up. You're probably going to see way too many of these videos of me making dolls um, in different ways with the Mod Melter because I am obsessed, obsessed in ways that I can't even tell you. So now I'm going to take um, some Folk Arts Boulder and it's number 4624. You guys always ask me to give the number as well. I don't know. I don't think I have an accent, but a lot of people say I have an accent and it's hard to understand me. I don't know. Um, maybe. I have no idea. But um, so a few of you have asked me to make sure I give the number with the color because sometimes you can't understand it and I talk fast and I get it and okay. So yeah, so I've been trying to really give the numbers with the colors. And I'm just painting it normal. You know, the um, collage pot, the uh, collage clay was um, dry already. And I want the base to be gray. Um, now, thinking of it, I would have probably done it bright pink um, or bright purple or something, but it worked out fine. This is, like I said, after I did this, if you guys ever do a project and you do it through the first time and like after you're like, oh, now I know what I would do different. Oh, I would use this color different. I'd do this. I'd do that. Kind of where I'm at with this, although I love the way this came out. And it's going to be in my living room. But um, yeah, so you kind of, you know, you all know what I'm talking about. So now I'm just drawing it real quick. Now that is my heat gun. You don't have, if you don't have a heat gun, believe me, you don't have to worry that you can't dry something. Use your hair dryer. Go to the thrift store, buy a cheap hair dryer. They sell them for like a buck fifty at mine. And, um, and if you don't have the money to do that, I understand. Leave it sit and dry for literally five minutes is even... A lot of time. Um, it's acrylic paint. It dries fast and then you can move on. I always say watch a YouTube video, listen to three of your favorite songs, and then it'll be dry. So that is what I'm doing. Letting it dry even more. And I'm thinking and thinking and thinking and I'm drawing it again. Just drying it again. Oh, this is just so much fun. So much fun. Apparently really drying it. Let me tell you something. It's 100% humidity here in Jersey. And I'm showing you because I have a little crackle on there that I did. I'm obsessed with the uh, crackle. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. Yeah, you can see it somewhat. But I ended up not even going with the whole crackle thing. Um, that's a different, that'll be a different video. Um, but it is wicked humid here. And it's going to be like 90 um and it's been like that for two days now and you can't even look out the windows it's so foggy i can't breathe my dogs are gagging um so everything's take my point is everything's taking a minute longer to dry <laughs> uh even with the heat gun and all just because it's so humid and i hate having my air running all the time i just hate it but you gotta do what you gotta do all right so now i have my face that i'm using I don't know what the heck am I doing there. I'm putting some, I love these mod melts. I'm going to tell you why. I use it for glue as well. <laughs> I use it for hot glue and that's what I did there. I don't even know what color I had in. I just put it on there and now I'm pushing it. I'm making sure that it makes good contact onto the uh, brush, foam brush. And what am I going to do next? I'm going to paint the face with Good gods, light flush from folk art. And my, this is so old. You guys know if you've been with me for a while, I've been using folk art for years and years. I'm almost done. I have what? Light flush, Santa's flush, uh, camel, which I love, um, portrait light. I mean, I can go on and on with the colors. Um, and you know, they're well used and loved. I use them all the time. I use them on these kind of things, I use them on my paintings. They are fantastic, especially if you don't want to mix your own colors. Can you mix your own colors? Of course you can. I have many uh, videos on my channel of me mixing um, 
flesh tones with, you know, primary colors and whatnot. So you definitely can do that if you don't have a flesh color. Um, I'll try to remember the link down below. Now I'm just using my Mod Melter and I'm gluing on. And I think I used the, um, what did I have in there? I had ble Beach Glass Clear in there. And I'm just um, putting some little bit down and gluing on some flowers and I'm going to do it all the way up and like I said this is so inspiring to me because like when I was doing it I was like oh I know what I'm doing next oh I know what I'm doing next you know what I'm saying so there's that so exciting all right yeah fun gluing them on all kinds of different colors So exciting. I, I know, I know. You guys are like, all right, Cal, I'm watching your glue flowers on there. But I'm I'm just telling you, I can't I'm watching it and I'm just like, I just I'm so excited. I can't wait to do the next one. And I have so much other things to do. Let me tell you something. You know, I hate I hate saying that I'm disabled. I mean, I don't hate saying it, but I hate saying when it comes to arts, doing art or any type of craft. You know, it can be really hard. Polymer clay, if I'm having a bad day, I rhymed. Call me Beastie Boy number four. Um, you know, it can be really, really tiring for your hands and painful. Um, and this, I just, I just love. I, I, I just love this. I can't even um, tell you. It's so much fun. And these mod notes come in so many different colors. It just, ugh. Now I'm thinking of an art journal page to do as well. And you see, you just keep gluing them on there whatever way you want. And what's nice is, and look, whether you're using a glue gun or not, um, or you're using the Mod Melter, you know, you can, everything's like, what word do I want to say? Transferable, I guess, where you can, um, you know, you don't have to worry what color's in there. You just glue. Do you know what I mean? They're inexpensive and... Um, you don't have to change, you know, to, oh, I got to pull that out to do this, or I got to change that to do this. But listen, if you don't want to use the glue gun uh, to glue this down, use glue. Use your uh, white school glue, Mod Podge, whatever you have, and you will get the same thing. Um, the only thing is if you're using a uh, wet glue um, of any sort, it's going to take a little longer to dry. But listen, if you do these things before you are done in your art room for the day, you know, or you can do it and go set it somewhere else and then you go on to do something else. It's not a big deal. And I'm just a gluing the machine. Ah, I just love this. Love it, love it, love it. And you can see I'm going crazy with the colors. I don't even care. Matter of fact, I put two of the white down, and um, which I believe it was the milk glass. The um, I think it's called milk glass, yeah. And uh, because of all the colors, I didn't like the white in there, so I ended up um, coloring it, which you'll see in a minute. And I'm just glowing on. Now remember, you're gonna have you don't have to put on the back because it's gonna be hanging. Now those those leaves I made, I'm going to stick them in and just add a little bit of that pop of green, you know, everywhere. Like there's no really rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of putting it in there, putting it in there, you know, just add a little bit of green because I think green, all the colors really set each other off and the green really makes it for me. I don't know. Call me crazy. Look how cute it looks already. Oh, I can't even stand it. I just love this. Now, you know, I'm making this one. I decided I was going creepy. That's what I started. I was going real creepy. And I thought, all right, I know a lot of you love creepy. And I know a lot of you do not. So I thought, you know what? Let me just jazz it up a little bit, mix it up a little bit here and um, do something prettier. So I decided to do the beautiful color uh 
mod melts that I have and do pretty colors, pretty flowers, and you'll see what else I do. And so I keep her very pretty, you know? Now, when I get to the face, this is, again, just gluing everything on there. So I'm just going to babble because that's what I like to do. Um, when you see me get to the... Um, face part <clears throat> I was very torn on how to do it and you'll see in a second what I do and then I'll talk about that a little bit more but I'm just piling them in you know look another leaf and sometimes I will squirt a little bit of the glue on my nonstick mat um and then like dip the flower or the leaf in if I want it to kind of uh sit there so now I'm looking at it I'm like hmm what else we're going to do? Well, I have these sides. So then I was like, all right, I have these sides. And what am I going to do? I'm going to take some of the uh, metallic, the glitter silver mod melt. And I'm going to use that on the sides. And I'm going to glue those long strips of flowers down. So then if any of the glue comes out, it's that delicious silvery metallic -y glitter. Um, and then I have the flowers on it. So that's what I'm going to do. See, I'm changing that. I'm pulling it out. And there we go. And see, I'm doing another flower there because I had a little bit of the extra left. Now um, I'm gluing it. I'm sticking some of that silvers coming through. And let me tell you, those flowers I, I showed you before, and I don't care one's pink. I don't, you know, I don't care. I just, I'm loving it. Um, you can cut them with scissors so easily. It's not even a big deal. So you really can, oh gosh. So yeah, so I'm going to do that and I'm counting them and I'll end up cutting it off. Now I have those little flowers, right? That delicious silver metallic glittery. I think it's not metallic. I think it's glittery. Silver glitter. Let me put it that way. And then I just put it on there. And like I said, if some of it squishes out, it's all right. It's that delicious glitter. So, oh, I'm just, oh, can't even tell you how excited I was. I wanted to run around the house with it, with it in my hand like it's a lollipop. Because I thought, oh, I could take my, mo my uh, molding stuff and pop that in there and make lollipops with it. That was one of my first things I was going to do. And then I changed my mind. Okay, so... Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, let me say, let me say, these are just like your little cheap rhinestone stickers, you know what I'm saying? Um, and these happen to be in hearts and like little circles. So what I did was I took um, some of them and put them in the uh, middle of the flowers. Like, you know what I mean? Like a little something, something. Now, I was going to put in just like some of the uh, silver glitter in some of the middles, but I changed my mind. I wanted, I don't know, I just wanted some bling. And that's really all I'm doing. <clears throat> and I'm making like summer hearts, you know, and I'm just pu turning them around so the point's down. I don't know, that's an OCD thing. Technically, you don't have to do that, but uh, that's what I did. And I just keep putting them on. Now, here's where the RA and the fibro screw my day up because I can't pick up little things. You'll see me struggling and struggling and struggling. My fingers hurt. They're like real stiff and they, <laughs> I'm sure you guys know for those sufferers out there. And I'm getting mad because I'm like, and then the problem is I forgot because <sighs> I'm so dumb sometimes. I forgot that I have the, um, Mod helpers. They're like Mod Podge helpers. They, um, which I think I show in here. Let me see the exact name because you know how I am. Silicone tool set from Mod Podge. And you get silicone uh, tweezers and you get silicone paddle and a silicone wand. So means I could have used them for this because I pulled them out to use them and set them to the side and then 
you know me. I didn't even use them because I forgot about them. I was so excited how nice the head came out with all the flowers that I was just on my own, in my own world. That's what happened. I had some music on and I'm having a blast. I'm in my own world. It's like a meditative state for me. Um, and that's what I'm doing. Now, I was going to use the um, ink pads and then I'm like, no, no, I'm not. I'm not going to use them. I'm going to use... I'm going to get a nail. I'm going to use my Parisian pink, which I'm obsessed with. And that is number 2233. And I'm going in those whites, the milk white uh, flowers that I did. Well, I don't like them. Because <laughs> I don't like it to be white um, with all the colors. I wanted more colors. So I just went in with the Parisian pink. And you can see me right there. I'm just putting it in. Just coloring them up. You know, and that's something, you know, now look, if there's flowers that you don't like and you don't like the color, or maybe like you look at it and you're like, you know what, the purple ones, I'm not digging that much, too dark, too this, the blue ones, this and that, paint over them. You can paint over the mod melts. They're fantastic. So I'm just painting it. Painting it, painting it, painting it. And they're very easy. They paint right over. Now I'm going in. I want to paint. I My thing was I was only going to paint the lips. Okay. I was going to leave the eyes alone. But I went back and forth, back and forth. So I did the lip and I'm happy with the lip being pink. Just a little bit. It's, she's not going all, you know. And now I'm going to just put a little, see now here's where I could have used the uh, tools, <laughs> the silicone tools, because my fingers, I, I don't have much feeling in my fingers and my hands. However, um, once in a blue moon, you'll see on here, like I just put it down and I accidentally touch it and it like, I don't know, just a little bit of that, like, whoa, okay. Now I'm just putting some of the mod melt underneath. And I have some yarn. So I got this in a random act of kindness and I wish I could remember from who. I want to say April, but I don't know. I can't remember. And I'm just gluing it on the bottom to start. A little on it and now I'm gonna I'm gonna go down the stick a little bit I'm gonna put some glue wrap it wrap it wrap it wrap it and then because you don't have to put glue all the way down um if you don't want to and now I'm gonna write you're gonna see I'm gonna wrap it around and then every so often put a little bit more glue so it secures it and then wrap it tight you want it tight and you're gonna see you're gonna see now I'm off camera a little bit as I wrap and do things because um, I don't know why, because I'm wacko. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm just wrapping it, making sure it's tight, putting a little bit of dot of glue. Yep, I'm just taking it. And then make sure you put some glue on the bottom just to hold those, you know, together. And then I'm going to cut it off. All right, so now... I have my wire and I'm, <clears throat> I was going for a whole different look here. I was going to do butterfly wings and then I changed my mind. That's going to be another one I do coming up, <coughs> but I made her, I wanted her to be an angel, um, in the beginning, but then with all the color and all, I'm like, ah, she's not going to do good as an angel. Um, I wanted a little bit different. So I have my, um, you know, just jewelry wire, my doll making wire, and I just put it around now you can see I put a, I glued a flower there where it kind of meets just to hold it a little uh, sturdy there. I put some hot glue and now I'm going to get my trusty 
wire cutters and I'm just kind of playing a little bit, cutting some of the rough edges off because, you know, you know who will be bleeding later with that? Me, when I go grab it, if I don't take those edges off. And now I'm just going to wrap. I put a little bit of glue and I'm just wrapping this um, yarn all the way around. Just so it's covered. And then I'm going to um, get some more. And then just keep wrapping around the... And gluing, same thing. Now I'm just hooking it. You know what I mean? How you take it over and then I'm just tying it tight there through the hoop. Through the loop. What is that, an overhand or something? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Underhand, overhand. Just taking it through the loop on both sides. Yep, leaving it hang. And then I'm going to cut it approximately as even as I can. And now I'm just putting some of the glue right there to hold those little pieces together. And now I'm going to start wrapping around the metal. You could tell I burnt myself there because I touched it. Because what it happened is... Um, the metal, when I put the hot glue on it, the metal got hot too. So it was like double duty. And I, I don't have any blisters or anything, but I touched it. I was like, oh, a little warm, a little warm. And I might even do that again on the other side because I'm I'm a stunad like that. I don't just learn once. I just keep doing it, boy. Many lessons I keep learning over and over. You would think I would get it, but not me. Not me. Stunad, stunad. And I'm just doing, you know, hooking it in there and gluing it on and having some fun. Same thing, glue there. Wrapping it around. Now, can you envision, like I said, I'm going to do, and, and let me know down below if you want me to do any more of these dolls on video or not. Because like I said, this was my first one. Um, the idea that came uh, in my head, you know what I mean? Like I had this idea and... I tried to make it come to fruition. I changed it along the way some, but you'll see. Um, uh, let me know if you want to see other ones that I'm going to do because I have a lot of other ones um, that I'm going to do and I'm going to put up for sale um, because these are just adorable. And I have like different faces and I have different themes and I have all kinds of stuff. I've already draw drew them out and written them down and everything that I'm going to do. So if this interests you, let me know. If not, I don't get offended. I mean, you watched me do this one. Maybe that's, you're like, okay, whatever. You know, but uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know. All right, so now here we go. Um, I'm using yarn. Now you can see I, I glued on another, a, a pink flower on the bottom and put a little um, a glass gem there. You see how, and then I found this yarn um, in my stash and it was like pom-poms. And what I loved about it was, and honestly, it makes it have a, almost like a chenille. I don't know if you guys know what a chenille blanket is, um, but I, I loved this with the pom-poms coming down and all I'm doing is added them so they hang. Um, it's going to be harder for you to see because this one, I also kind of, you know, did off camera a bit as I'm trying to figure it out, but um, I love the way it came out and you'll see at the end, but I love these colors because they mimic some of the flowers on the top. And, you know, I have a lot of uh, Halloween ideas do coming up with dolls and witches. Oh gosh, my mind's been crazy lately. I think because I'm so like manic anymore, um, it's just how, just how it comes out. But you can see, I'm just hanging it, and, and where it's doubled over, I'm going to, you know, cut it. Now, let me do this. Would any of you like a um, flower mold? One of the flower molds that I used? Would any of you like that? With a few uh, mod melts to go with it? You can use them with your glue gun. You can buy yourself the mod melter. 
if you do, and you guys are still with me, put down below the word yarn, but use it in this sentence in your uh, comments. I love the way the yarn looks. I love the way the yarn looks. Put that down with your comment down below so I know that you're using the word yarn. And I will write uh, your names down like I did for the last giveaway. And you will win one of the brand new flower molds that I have. And you'll get a few, you know, of each color of the mod melts like I used here. So do that. And then on Saturday or Sunday, one of those two days, I will um, pull the winner and send you out your gift. How exciting. All right. So now you see. That's how she came out. I love it. I'm going to put a finished picture hanging on the wall uh, at the end of this. But thank you so much for watching. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. Please share me around like I'm your loose friend. And uh, let me know down below if you'd like to see any more.